Hello everybody, this is Daniel bringing you guys another packet tracer walkthrough. In this video we will be going through configuring IPv6 address scene. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, it wants us to enable the router to forward IPv6 packets. So let's go ahead and do that. It's The command is IPv6 unicast routing. And we need to transition into interface configuration mode because we already did these two steps so let's go ahead and configure the IPv6 addresses and by the way um, uppercase lowercase doesn't matter you can still read it so just so you know And now, now it wants us to configure Gigabit Ethernet 01 and refer to the addressing table. So let's go ahead and go to the Gigabit 01. And now configure this. No shut it. Okay, now we're now lastly it wants us to configure serial zero zero zero. So let's go ahead and get into that interface configuration mode. Um configure the IPv6 address properly. And just to verify that that was all done, we can look here and check. So this one looks right. This one looks right. And I forgot to set a link local on serial zero zero zero. This is kind of like the stuff you should be looking out for, you know, in case you miss something like I did there. So it's, it's no big deal since we noticed it soon. So let's go ahead and fix that. So now if we look at it again, it should have it. And yes, it does. So that's good. Next up, it wants us to configure the IPv6 addresses on the server. This is like where it starts getting like tedious, but in a sense, it's also important because there's really no fast way you can do this unless you just DHCP it, and they want us to like know how to do this. So you know, just hitting DHCP isn't probably like the best thing either. Being lazy isn't always good. <laughs> Oh, right, we have to refer to the addressing table because, of course, instead of putting it down there, they have to make us look up for it. I meant to X that out. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. And now we have to configure the sales and billing clients. So, IP configuration. Let's go ahead and do that. It's my OCD that made me do that, by the way, guys, in case you were wondering. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I just entered the wrong IP address for sales, so let's go ahead and check that. And yes, I did. I entered engineering when I was looking too far down. Well, it's a good thing I noticed it now, rather than when we actually started testing. So, and then lastly, it wants us to check the desk design and engineering, but I'm not going to look down there just for the engineering address because it's going to be too much effort to you know scroll back up again. So, we'll just do it here. I 
actually I think a much better idea for me to do is um, for me to have done is to just like looked at this and then done it one by one instead of just scrolling back and up. Uh, but whatever, we got it done and that's all that matters. So let's go ahead and open the web pages for the clients and I think I just put in the wrong address for that too. Yes I did. It's four not three. Okay. Alright, so that's good. By entering the IPv6 addresses of the servers, we can access them and we can verify if they can connect to them or not, which is important because if you can't connect, then you don't have a problem, right? I think I might have done something wrong here. Yeah, I did something wrong. So the IP configuration. Yeah, if you can't if you can't access like a router, I mean, sorry, a server from another network, you can see that this is one network and this is another. Well, some networks, I guess. But usually, if billing or sales can't access the CID, or if design and engineering can't access accounting, usually, usually what I, at least in my experience, have forgotten to do is set the IPv6 gateway. So if you do that, you should be able to connect. good that's also good and I forgot to configure IPv6 gateway on here too There we go. So now everything is configured properly. It's best like if you make a mistake, it's best to like not freak out. You have to say, okay, what's the problem? And then you analyze the problem and then you solve it based on what you think is the best idea. So now we have to test the connectivity to the IESP. Let's go ahead and do that. So that works. That also works. And yes, this works, so we're all done with this, so full connectivity is verified. And if you guys are um, having a destination host unreachable, it probably means that when you configured your interfaces for the router, you um, did it with the wrong IPv6 address. So you definitely want to verify and make sure that the IPv6s are um, configured properly on the router, because otherwise you're going to run into a lot of problems when you try to test network connectivity. Um, but overall, this is a pretty straightforward lab in my opinion. It's not the hardest. You just have to follow instructions. Like they basically feed you the answers. But I thought it'd still be best to like show you guys in case you're stuck on about something. But anyway, that's the end of this video. So if you guys like this video, definitely like. If you want more, definitely subscribe. But once again, guys, I'm Daniel, and I will see you guys in the next video.